Last time on PWTV, I used a pair of plus twos and a multi-max in relay mode. If you haven't seen it already, you can check it out right here. Just click on this link. This is a cool video too. You should watch this as well if you're interested in relay mode. So after my video last time, some of you asked to see the same setup but with the Mini TT1 and the Flex TT5. That's what we'll do today. The basic principles of relay mode are the same for all of our radios. The pocket wizard on your camera receives on one channel, but then transmits on one channel higher to trigger the flash. The big difference with the Mini TT1 and the Flex TT5 is that they're capable of TTL flash. You need a remote camera cord for the receiving pocket wizard to trigger your camera. The Flex TT5 uses our ACC cables, but the exact cable that you need depends on what camera you're using. You can use our cable finder to find the correct cable for whatever camera you have. There are three different kinds of remote camera cables. Normal cables with a mono mini phone end and no special features. Dash P cables. Dash P cables have a built-in pre-release switch. Once you engage the switch, it makes your camera act as if the shutter button is held down halfway. This makes it respond more quickly and consistently, but will also reduce battery life. And then ACC cables. These have a stereo mini phone end and are designed to work with a Multimax with an ACC port or a Flex TT5 in the default configuration. Straight out of the box, only ACC cables will work with the Flex TT5. You can use normal or dash P cables if you enable basic trigger mode via the Pocket Wizard utility. It's under the MISC tab. To use relay mode with these radios, just connect your remote camera cable to the motor drive port and the P1 port on the Flex TT5. Set the radio on your camera to channel 1 and the radio on your remote flash to channel 2. Next, make sure your camera is switched on and then trigger the pocket wizard on your camera with a pocket wizard in your hand. Everything looks good. You may notice that you can only trigger your remote camera once every couple seconds. That's because the Flex TT5 on your camera is listening to TTL communication through the hot shoe. You can get rid of this delay completely if you connect your radio to the Pocket Wizard utility and turn on basic trigger mode, but you'll be limited to using manual mode on your remote flashes. When using a remote camera cable with a Flex TT5, it's important to make sure that the mini phone end gets inserted all the way into the radio. You can hear a little click when it's in. Thanks for watching PWTV today. Keep the comments coming. Help me help you.